At the end of every one of our football games, our coaching staff gathers and we give the players a post-game talk. Each coach says a few words, usually, that reflect how the game went, what the theme was, congratulations, or keep your head ups, all those typical post-game talks that coaches give. We have about three to five minutes to figure out what we're gonna say between the clock saying zero, 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 the handshake line, the congratulations, the short talks to the opposing players and teams and coaches, and then our walk to the end zone where we always sit and gather, take a knee and give our talk. That time is about three to five minutes. That gives us time to figure out what to say. I never have my post-game talk pre-scripted. I don't think anybody does. And I figure out in that three to five minutes what I'm going to say. Never has it been so hard as it was in our last game, our last game of the season, our last game um, as a football team together, and my last time coaching my high school, my son in a high school football game. So never has that three to five minutes been so important. And yet, like always, God delivered to me a message. And the message came very simply in the fact that as I walked, I saw and witnessed all the fans that had graced us and joined us in this game, whom had traveled from Gilroy up north about 35, 40 minutes to San Jose to see our game. And I'm walking and I'm waving at people who I know came to see us. I'm trying to find my family. I'm dejected. I'm trying to comfort my players, most importantly, my son. And as I'm walking, my theme came to me. The theme for my talk came to me. And so as my, as my time came and I addressed the young men, I told them simply, I said, guys, the measure of a man, the measure of a young man's courage, the measure of a young man's greatness is not based on a score. It's not based on a grade. It's not based on whether or not you win an outcome, a game, a test, an event. The true measure of a young man or woman and his or her greatness is the willingness to risk something. The willingness to be afraid and go anyway. The willingness to, to risk the pain and dejection of losing a game, of falling on your face and yet going anyway, and yet proceeding anyway. And what I saw in that moment as I walked toward the end zone to give my talk was hundreds of fans leaving. Now, some were upset, obviously. Some were disappointed, obviously. But none of them had pain. None of them had at least the pain that the participants, the warriors in the arena felt. And in many ways in that moment, a part of me was envious. A part of me wanted to be a fan, wanted to be able to let go within a minute or two or an hour or two or a day or two, the pain that had happened. A part of me wanted to be that. But as I've said several times, guys, in my talks, on my videos, you cannot hit a winning free throw in life. You cannot be the person that is adored and appreciated and celebrated for hitting the winning free throw in life unless you are willing to miss it. Unless you are willing to be the one who missed it. And so what I told the young men, and I'm telling you guys, that to be great, to have all the things you want in life, you got to be willing to risk it. You got to be willing to go through pain. Right to be to be able to win a CCS championship game game and all that comes with that, 
you have to be willing to lose it. And most of America, most of the world, most of all of us around us are not in the position to, to have severe pain or severe celebration. To have the extreme joys or the extreme pains. They live in the middle. And, and yes, the, a, a, a big part of that is comforting. I get that. A big part of never going for a promotion and never getting told no or never asking that boy out or that girl out and never being told no or never really trying to get in shape and finding out you, you can't do it, you can't push hard enough, of never going through this and doing that and falling short. Yes, I get it. A big part of that is, is pleasurable. And there is some, some comfort in knowing you will never, ever, ever, ever feel extreme pain and extreme disappointment. But to me, that's no way to live, guys. That's no way to live if you can't, at some points in your life, experience the extreme joy of her saying yes. The extreme joy of getting that promotion. The extreme joy of, of going to the beach or the pool and being able to show off the body you're proud of. The extreme joy of winning a game in the CCS championship. What is life if you can't have that or can't go for that? And so I am begging you to keep fighting. I am begging you to keep pushing. I am begging you to have the courage to go for things with no assurance, no assurance that you will get it. To go for things with the, with the possibility of disappointment, the possibility of failure. I'm asking you to go for greatness. I'm asking you to try to be the best version of you every single day. I'm asking you to do the best you can to try to get an A. I'm asking you to do the best you can to make that team. I'm asking you to do that even though you might fail. Because, because in the end, what will happen if you continue doing that is you will experience extreme joy, extreme pleasure, extreme fulfillment. And the more you do that, the more you risk pain the more you risk disappointment, the more enjoyment you will receive. So now, a week out from that loss, I'm able to look back at the journey. And in round one, we had a great win. And in round two, we had a great win. And in the championship game, we lost. And it felt painful. But those two wins that we had, those moments with my team and my coaches and my family and my baby boy, those two games and those moments are worth the pain we felt ultimately in the loss. So you getting that yes, you getting that promotion, you getting that A on the test, I promise you, will be worth all the times you failed, worth all the times they said no, worth all the times you fell short. Life is too short, guys, to go through life living in the middle. Chance some pain. Risk some failure. To experience those small percentage of times in your life when you look back and say, I have never, ever, ever felt that good. I have never, ever felt that proud of myself. How many of you can say that for the last 5, 10, 15, 20 years? How many of you guys are living in the middle not asking for a promotion, not trying to get better, not trying to get an A, not trying to lose weight, not trying to go for that relationship you want, not trying to be better every single day, not trying to read, not trying to grow. How many of you are doing that? Because you know if you don't do that, there's no pain. But without risking pain, you can't grab greatness. Without risking pain, you can't grab greatness. So I'm asking you guys, risk it so that you can grab it. Risk pain so that you can grab greatness. All right, guys, I love you. Have a good day. Talk to you guys soon.